All right, pop quiz for you. Bees are A, a nuisance, B, mandatory for the environment, C, destructive, D, all the above. Well, if you answered D, all the above, congratulations. In terms of being destructive, though, the one species that falls into that category specifically is the carpenter bee. However, as Mark Wildman tells us, there are ways to protect yourself and your property from this pesky little buzzer. Often mistaken for the traditional bumblebee, the carpenter bee is the proverbial black and decker of the insect world. Lumber, broomsticks, shovel handles, if it's made of wood, it's a potential snack for carpenter bees. Generally I start getting calls about February, sometimes March according to how uh, warm the weather is, and everybody wants to know what are these big bees flying around, usually wooden um, establishments. People just get real excited because they are a very large bee and want to know about, you know, they, do they sting, do they not sting, and the big question I get is why are they here? Although it's rare, female carpenter bees have been known to sting, unlike the males who cannot sting, but love to intimidate us humans with their hovering ability. As for the why, that's simple, reproduction. The bees uh, tunnel into the wood, they have larvae in there, then they go back and, 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 and feed that larvae, pack that tunnel full of food for the larvae. And as nature would have it, that larva itself becomes food for another pesky creature, the woodpecker. And the only way that the woodpeckers can get to that is to do like they do on other wood when they're hunting for insects, is to devour that wood and get to where the insect is. I have looked at the siding on homes before, and it has been uh, demolished just like you took a hammer and, and, and beat on it. According to Tyson, the type of woods carpenter bees target are things made of pine, cedar, and other soft woods. The best defense against the bees? If you paint or stain the wood, that, that helps. You can, there are some insecticides that can be used. One of the, the, the best methods is the trap. Um, there are several different types of traps. You can make your trap, you can buy traps. Several places have them now because so many people are complaining about them being a nuisance. In Effingham County, I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor.